Hi everyone. Right, um, I just want to show you a couple of bits. Um, Ray called into Tesco's again this afternoon and picked me up another one of these. Do you remember when I said there were the gold paints? Um, the Reeves is one acrylic, fine artist quality paint. Uh, like I say, it was only two pound fifty for a two hundred mil tube. So I got another one of those, which I'm thrilled about. He also picked me up this one, which is the metallic silver paint. That was one fifty. And then this morning, these um, the second batch of stamps that I'd ordered. You know the rubber back stamps. I ordered a load of these, and uh, Uncle and get it nice and clear. So the these arrived and I've what I've done is I've just basically just printed them out so you can see what they were or what they are should I say and uh, that's the first one which I'm absolutely thrilled at the dragonfly it is quite big let's have a look see how big it is wingspan is four four inches so that's the wingspan on span on that so that's going to be fantastic because you know these um, that my friend's done me. I'm going to attempt doing some of those as well. So that's my next thing. I'm still building up on my page, on my canvas. Done a couple bits more, I'll show you in a minute. So that's one of them. Then I got a plate, a rubber plate with a load of butterflies on. And here's some of the butterflies. So you can see those. Let me just see if I can turn it that way love these i mean these are gonna be great for alcohol in alcohol inking and then i can color them in or perfect pearls or something again i also have the smaller one the um dragonfly the ladybird and then this one says stamp out naked envelopes well, it was just in on the pack <laughs> um i got um i think the ladybird the key and this one that says Grace, which I love the script, um, were free. They were free. I didn't order those. Love this one, like a moth. And this one, like a bee. Uh, or a, a fly. Um, these were also on the plate, which was another dragonfly and several more butterflies. I love this one. And then on the reverse, I've just stamped the big one, which was, um, I think it's that way. That's it. Uh, never mind that didn't come out right first one but this one which is the bird house which i absolutely loved that one so that'd be a nice background uh, one to have and then um do you remember the it was only a piece of card like this that i um did the the picture of the girl on well that's and i've cut her out because that's going on the canvas but I've also put things on the canvas since last night. And uh, so what I've decided is I bought two canvases and in case I didn't have enough room for all the things I like so I can have a matching pair hung up on my wall when I when I get my room. And, uh, and so this is going to have to go on there because it now doesn't fit where I wanted it to go. But um, mine's rather a mature lady. <laughs> doesn't look girly at all. It's mature and uh, so all i did i just trimmed it out so this the face is a, a funny shape because it's the way i drew it onto the card um uh, so that's what i've done i did add a little bit of hair um and that's my finished product my painting um i do like it it's quite nice never done one before but i will be trying to do one uh, a proper a whole face with hair and everything I did enjoy doing it but you know what they say practice makes perfect and uh, I will be having a go again at that so I hope you like it um, mm. I don't know myself <laughs> I don't know because I, I don't do paintings like that I do um, scenery ones and and you know um, well landscapes uh, still life and things like that. I'm not cartoony characterist, if you know. I mean, I do paintings for the hospital, for the children's wards. Uh, like I say, I've got another commission for that. Um, so I just thought I'll show you them. So while I'm here, I'm just going to show you the canvas up to now. Remember I did the hanging sign. Now, it's going to be hard to film this. So, let me see if I can... Um... It's really hard. <laughs> I'm going to try and get this in. Now, sorry, you might have to turn your heads to look at this. So there's my hanging sign. 
Um, I do have to go over it again in white. I've done it once last night. I have to do it again because it's it tends to be really soft. The paints for some reason, maybe because I've got the um, metallic rub-ons underneath. Maybe that's why that's hard to uh, make it stand out. If not, I'll hand paint it on with white uh, acrylic paint. Uh, I've also put on one of the butterflies that I like. I mean, that it, it is movable, this. You know, uh, sorry. Like that. Um, so I've also just stuck one of those on, because I love those. Um, and then uh, I think, I'm not sure, but I think it was Mammy gave me some of these. It was uh, Mammy or Olga, uh, well, somebody did. Somebody who very kind and generous gave me these. And I absolutely love the colours. So I've added one of these. And then this was the uh, wooden flower, or dried flower, um, from the Toad 78, which is Tony. Um, when she sent me these, she sent me four of them, I think they were. And I absolutely adored them. I just, I loved them. And I thought, yep, yeah, I'm going to use one of those on my project. And so I've put that on. Not sure if you can see it. It's one of those wooden flowers. So right now, let's see if I can turn this around. Oh, I'm really sorry, ladies and gentlemen, but uh, hee, deary me, it's really hard to get because it's so big. Let me just move that. See if I can lay it out. Not really. I don't like the camera being here on the desk. I can't do with it because you can't see anything. I need it higher up. Let me just see if I can hire it again. Because I think when I add it higher, you could see more. Let's just have a look. A little bit better. Um, yeah, a little bit better. Like that. The legs are in the way. <laughs> but, um, so I'm just going to get the picture of my grandchildren and I on there. And, um, seeing them all to the lens. Look, there's... The, oh, look, you can see it now. Uh, that way, sorry. So that's what it's going to be like. And that's there. Oh, do you know? Um, I've really... I mean, I, I, this is all... It's meant to... I didn't stick it down properly. I don't want it stuck down. And this I am going to hand paint shortly. So, um... I, I don't know, I just like it. I love it, to be honest. I'm quite pleased the way it's turned out. Love the colours, everything about it. So, um, there you go. I shall show you that when it's completely finished. And um, <coughs> what else have I been doing? Nothing. Had to do a project in work today. Well, I finished it last night and handed it in today, which was for um, our school play for the Leavers Do. Um, what I'm going to do next are these. I'm going to attempt to do some of these for the next canvas I'm doing. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them. Don't know whether I'm going to colour them, have them black and white, black and silver. I don't know. I'll see how, how I get on when I do them. I just want to do some of those. And um, I've got this, which I've had a long, long time. It was just a textured background of sand. Just a disc I did. And um, I found it in one of the drawers and I thought, well, I don't really want to waste it. I'm not going to throw it out because I could use it as a picture mat. So I might find a use for that. I've dug it out just in case. And I've also dug some of these, the musical notes out. See? Because um, I do have a music mini on the go. And I'm going to put this on my project. The little vase, half flat back vase. Because I do want some flowers on it and uh, it's going to go on the canvas with some flowers in there so I've just got to do a flower arrangement so I've got that to paint I'm going to do that next um, I think that's it so um, drop by later on and we'll see what we're doing or see what I uh, managed to do look at this awful blooming awful there we go right then I'll speak to you soon see you later bye